Hey there guys, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Right, so in the last episode we made it to the 8th dungeon, and in this episode we are going to make a start on the 8th dungeon. Now, alright, uh, so I do need to get some health, as you can see that my health is really low, and I don't really want to be starting this dungeon with low health. And there we go, we found ourselves a fairy, so that's good enough. Alright, I, I need to restock on some things, just in case that I do need to restock on things, because we will need a lot of items in this dungeon, I can tell you that much right now. Because this dungeon is huge, there's a lot of puzzles you need to solve in it. And that's... Well, first of all, let's get rid of these ghosts. Before we start doing anything in here, because these things can be kind of a nuisance. And I think the only... Pu the, the way how you solve the puzzle in this room... I think you actually have to... Light the torches to do it, so... And it would be better if we lighted the torches anyway, because then we can see... You know, we haven't been eating a lot of those carrots, so we can't see in the dark. <laughs> Alright, so that's... Uh, I think you have to move this statue. I know there's one statue you have to move. Yeah, it's this one right here. And the reason why you have to move this statue is because there's a fake wall here. So you just bomb this out. I, I don't know why this room took me forever to suss out. It just did. Because, uh, like... I, I did know there was a wall he had to, like, bomb in that room, but I didn't know where it was. I didn't know he, he actually had to move one of the statues to reveal where the bombable wall was. Right, so you can have a lot of master, well, floor ha floor masters, master hands, wall masters, whatever you want to call them. Right, so the key's here. Obviously, because there wouldn't be any other room besides this one, because there is no intersection in this room that can lead to, that branches off to another room besides the room we've already just came through. So, is this movable? No. Fair enough. Right, so we'll just bomb this out. And there we go. We'll be getting really deep into the dungeon uh, fairly soon. We'll be getting into the big floors once we've been through this room right here. Because this is basically just the entrance of the dungeon. Um, and we need to open up that tomb, or that gravestone, right there. Which will reveal a secret stairway. Now, I don't know if you have to light this switch or if it doesn't. Light this torch, or I don't know if it does anything. In particular, probably yeah, it probably does because it's like in a square shape, and these there's three switches here, and yeah, that torch is aligned with the switches, so I imagine you do have to light it. All right, so get this one on here, and obviously one of the other well, you have to use the Kena Samario to put a block on the other switch, and then you just stand on the uh, just stand on the last switch by yourself, and it should open it. There we go. The tomb is now revealed. Who's going to come out? Ghouls and ghosts? Skeletons and zombies? Who knows? Let's find out. Alright, there's a key block there. We can't do anything with that, obviously, because we don't have a key yet. Um, we don't even have the dungeon map, so... <laughs> if I get the dungeon map, then I'll be able to see more clearly where to go, because this dungeon is basically just like one big maze. It's very easy to get lost in here. And there you go, there's this, I think this actually takes you to the map. Yeah, it does. There you go, it's a dungeon map. Select the, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And you can see, look how big this dungeon is, man. Look how freaking huge it is. Damn massive. <laughs> and then you, if you come up here, you can see how big this floor is too. Which is really big as well. Like, this dungeon is the biggest dungeon in the game. I think it has something like 52 rooms or something. Which is pretty big for a dungeon on a Game Boy Color. I think it's even bigger than the final dungeon in Link's Awakening, Turtle Rock. Well, that second floor, or the, no, the third floor we was on, where we got the dungeon map from, the map layout of that floor looks exactly like the map layout in Turtle Rock, which is the final dungeon in Link's Awakening. Like, that's the kind of um, resemblance that I got from that. Like, I, I, it just clicked in my head, I was like, does that, that look, I swear that floor looks familiar. It looks exactly like the um, the final dungeon in Link's Awakening. I don't know what I'm doing here. Just going from screen to screen, not even doing anything. All right, so we need to figure out what we need to do in these rooms here, because like we're blocked off here. We can't go in that room. I don't even think we can go through here. No, you can't. See. So what are we actually supposed to do here? Oh, I forgot already. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got ourselves a key, you dumbass. You, got, you just got yourself a key, and then there was a key block down here. That's what you need to do. 
You need to go open this key, this key block. Which will open up secret. Well, the next area here, which is another panel that you need to use to get to navigate around to get your way around the dungeon. Like this will be the main floor you'll be focusing on for like the first half of the dungeon or the first part of the dungeon. Like the second floor really starts to show up more once you've beat the mini boss, and then you have to do a whole huge puzzle down there as well. I don't know. Oh yeah, that switch just yeah puts all the red ones up, so now we can go through the blue areas where the blue panels were up before. All oh, right, his chest here too. We got ourselves a compass. Yay! How many chests are in here in this dungeon? Actually, I completely forgot. I know there's quite a lot to get because it's a huge dungeon, you know. Ah, right, we're blocked off by red by the red switches, right, okay. I don't want to lift the red switches up anyway, because I know that I can go to the part where I wanted to go to before, but I couldn't go there before because the blue switch was on. So now that the red switch is on, we should be able to go in the part where the blue switches were up, but they're not up anymore because I hit the red switch. Well, I made it to turn red. So there you go, we can go through here now. I don't know if there's anything in here particular that, in particular that we can do. I don't, I don't know, because this dungeon is just so easy to forget. Oh wait, there's a key there. Stalfos is holding a key, I didn't... Wow, <laughs> I didn't see that. Because, like, enemies in this game, if they're holding a key like that, you should be able to see the enemy actually holding the key in their sprite. Like, their sprite should show that they're holding the key, but I didn't actually see that it was holding the key. <laughs> Which is weird. Right, so now we can go down here again, which should take us to a new area this time. Uh, well, good thing is we got a key, <laughs> so we can open the locked door. Wow, I slept a lot today. I went to bed at 7 o'clock this morning. No, yeah, no, I went to bed at 4 o'clock this morning. Um kind of like passed out and then woke up at 7 then went to bed and slept the whole day <laughs> yeah I just had a lazy day today because like these are my last few days of of my holiday this is the last few days of my break before I have to go back to college unfortunately yeah I start in September So I will try and get as many videos as I can up during the days that I'm at college. I'll do my best to try and get as many videos up as I can. But I do have free days. I have free days on Thursday and Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But obviously I'm not here Saturday, so I'll be uploading more frequently. Like, if there's a day where I can't upload on days where I have college, don't be surprised. Because that probably will happen at some... Like, sometimes it probably will happen because I'll be caught up with a bunch of work that I need to do in preparation for something <laughs> and if I do need to do some work in preparation for something then don't be surprised that I don't get any videos uploaded that day but Friday and Friday no Thursday Friday and Sunday there will be no excuses because I'll be free so I can upload as much as I want on those days but oh what we're blocked off here to ah uh, Damn. Wait, do we... is it... Yeah, we can... F no, we can... Yeah, oh, God, you're being stupid. You're supposed to throw a bomb here, yeah. So then you can walk on the red... Um, red panels. And this is how you do this puzzle right here. You have to walk on the red panels. And then make sure you stay on the red panels. Don't fall off them, otherwise you have to redo the whole puzzle again. And you do need your rock's feather here to jump across. So... Jump... <laughs> Yeah, I, I think this actually takes you straight down to the mini boss. I, I can't remember. Because now we've opened up this area, which will take us down to, down the stairs. And yeah, you get raped by a bunch of gibdos. <laughs> yeah, use your spin attack. No, ah, I want to use my spin attack, and then I go ahead and jab you in your balls. I didn't want to jab you in my balls with my sword. I wanted to annihilate you. <laughs> Like poke you with my sword. Well, you, you 
No, spin attack and then poke him, because spin attack takes takes away most of the damage, and then when you hit him once with just a normal swipe, he dies in one hit. Gibdos do anyway. Alright, so this boss is kind of like Agna him from uh, A Link to the Past and Ganondorf, Phantom Ganon from Ocarina of Time. Basically the same kind of way how you fight him, you have to hit the orb back at him to take damage. <laughs> Alright, so come on. Give me all your power, give me all your might. Show me. Show me, show me. Uh, what the hell am I talking about? What the hell? <laughs> I'm showing you who's boss. You're not supposed to show me who's boss. I'm supposed to show you. I'm talking jibber jabber, as usual. And this thing's now turned into a bat. Yeah, this boss also gave me kind of, uh, quite a bit of trouble too, because he always seems to use that attack more often than Agnihim uses that attack when you fight Agnihim in A Link to the Past, because he uses that same kind of attack where the spell just obliterates into different directions, or sh yeah, shatters into different directions, and then the orbs go all over the place. Yeah, he seems to use that move more than Agnihim does, and Agnihim uses that move quite frequently too. But not as much as this guy. <laughs> there you go. At least we had the level 2 sword, so we did take more efficient damage against him and killed him much more quicker than what we would have done with the level 1 sword. I don't think I've actually done this dungeon before with the level 1 sword. I can't even imagine doing this dungeon with the level 1 sword, because you're basically in the last dungeon here. The enemies are much more tougher and more stronger. More tougher, more stronger is the same different. No, it's the same kind of words, same kind of phrase. What the? God, your words are all over the place today, I tell you. It's always when I seem to talk fast, like my words just go all over the place. <laughs> so I should just, like, calm down a bit. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, where are we now, anyway? I know that we've done the mini-boss and that. Let me see. Okay, right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six chests on this floor that we need to get. Okay. I don't know if, I don't know if we need to go back up to uh, the first B1F. I'm not sure. Right, you know what guys, I'm going to end off the video here anyway and continue on the next episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, we progress on deeper into the 8th dungeon. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care everybody, see you on my next video, and goodbye.